He's being called the graphic novel killer. Prosecutors say a comic book he created depicted a chilling murder that foreshadowed his own fiance slaying. And I've seen some gruesome crimes, and this is one of the most gruesome. 37 year old Blake Libel's graphic novel features a beautiful young woman who falls victim to a serial killer. This illustration from the novel shows the murder victim on a blood soaked mattress. And this police photo from the real life crime scene also shows a bloody mattress. The victim was his fiancee, Yana Cassian, and she had just given birth to their daughter. Libel murdered his fiancee in their third floor apartment here in West Hollywood. Police say he barricaded the door with a mattress. He actually had food delivered as she lay dying in the bedroom. Look at the crazed expression on Libel's face in this mugshot. In his graphic novel called Syndrome, one of the key characters bears a striking resemblance to Libel, who was a regular presence at Comic-Con promoting his books. We'll start with little rudimentary designs and sketch out how we kind of want it to look. On another page in Syndrome, the character tells a waitress, I am filthy, stinking rich just like Libel, who comes from a wealthy family. He showed zero emotion following his murder conviction. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of the crime of torture. At his sentencing yesterday in Los Angeles, the victim's grieving mother, who's from Ukraine, spoke through an interpreter. I never thought that one day my life would be broken, that it would turn into hell and endless suffering. Libel was sentenced to life without parole. There might be a little bit of justice in that he's not out in the street and he can't do it to anybody else.